Welcome back to our Road to No Road journey. If you've been following our previous episode, we've explored the rigorous engineering protocols we've applied to rethink how extreme 4x4 driving is performed. From the top automotive engineers to component suppliers and our advanced ODAS algorithms, we felt it was an important moment to share what our innovation will soon mean for the users of our technology, for the real people doing real work. We were curious to understand just how intuitive KXI's center of gravity automation technology is by testing its ability to assist drivers possessing lower off-road confidence and expertise. To assess this, we created a custom course with extreme obstacles similar to the challenging terrain found in wilderness driving scenarios. So what happens when a group of drivers with no off-road experience take on an extreme test track supported by our ODAS? Let's find out. <laughs> hey, my name is Dale DeClerc. I'm in the mining industry. I probably drive 20,000, 30,000 kilometers a year with just my job alone. So pretty comfortable on the paving side for sure. Not done a lot of 4 by 4 but I've been in a lot of off-road vehicles, uh, let's say uh, side-by-sides, things like that. I'm very comfortable driving on paved roads. Some of them are better than others. <laughs> so tell me what experience you have driving off-road. None. Hey, my name is Frank Bush and I'm a corporate director and financial analyst. I have absolutely zero experience driving off-road. Never done it. I spend most of my time in spreadsheets and not, not really much outdoors too. So My name is Lawrence East. I'm a consultant working with nonprofits. I would classify myself as a good driver on paved roads for the most part. The early thoughts I think is fabulous. It's beyond comprehension of anything else that I've ever seen. There's a couple of features that immediately create a little bit of anxiety potentially, one of which would be the deep rut that exists and the berm. And because I have a history of having rolled a vehicle before, I suspect that that would create the probably the, the, the only points of concern for me. It certainly looks uh, a little scary out there, the <laughs> course that's been set up, So, I'm, but I'm mainly excited to see, uh, see what this thing can do. If this is intuitive to the terrain, uh, man, I, I think that that's uh, it's game changer. Okay, Dale's got it. Got it. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, so all the way into the M position. That's it, that's good. About there. Now you can go crack it hard, right? That's it. You got it. You know how easy it turns yeah, around, right? Wow. Right? It's smoother than my minivan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to start coming to the left. We're going to put our tires up on that bank, okay? You can go up a little bit higher if you want, just a little bit. Okay. Just nice and easy. There we go. That's it. So here, we just stop here. We got. Come to a stop. We got 25 degrees terrain, right? And then 18 degrees inside. We're on a bit of a tilt, but yeah. how's it feel? Good. So, so so safe. Like it feels safe. I don't feel like I any any kind of a tipping at all. Just straight out. And it's intuitive. It's so freaking intuitive to the terrain. I like this. It really it's feels perfect. like a vehicle smarter than I am. <laughs> it's like I'm just uh, I think it feel like it's taking me for the ride here, you know? It's and see that steep little hill, the small one right yeah. there? We're gonna aim right for that piece. Really? Yeah. So not where the sticks are, but next to it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, the really yeah, steep, looks... dark one there, yeah. And we're just gonna drive it there very, very slowly. Very slowly? Yeah. Don't need to take a run at it. I would just not attempt this in up. any kind of vehicle. Oh boy. This is gonna walk up here. Yep. How did that feel? Wow. Frank, this is just a straight road, yeah. right? So don't oversteer it. Huge steer. hills, holes huge hills. and we want to keep the tires on the high spots, right? Okay. So the tires on the high spots on the left for your driver's side, and the tires on the high spot for the right side. It's virtually unstoppable, you know. Um, as long as you control, take the time to let it adjust. What, you've been in this vehicle for driving it for what? 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Not even? Yeah, we're fully articulating this suspension, right? So we're giving it a complete, you Up know, and from down. full compression to full extension. And 
they're all doing it, you know, at different rates here, as we have compression on one side and extension on the other. I can't believe we're going over this terrain. This is, like, the way it looks from up here, it's like, it just feels like you should be falling into each one of these holes, and the truck is just kind of like, no big deal. Now you can see the ditch there, right? We're going to put the driver's side tires into that, okay? And you just make sure as we go in, our wheels are straight, okay? Right. And you just ease, yeah, use that brake to ease that wheel into the trough, right? There we go, just like that. That's it, perfect. And as the weather wheel comes up. Whoop, whoop, easy in the trough, there we go, you got it. <laughs> That's it, just ease it nice and slow through here. really feels like you can go anywhere <laughs> you know it's like I feel like there's nowhere you couldn't go if you did it smart you know like but yeah it just feels like the vehicles do it all the work and it doesn't need much encouragement eh? just like it you know pauses a bit you give it a little gas and it's fine you can... now let's put let's try crab mode just fun so we'll just stop right there so crab mode see the little hit just hit that little right there mm -hmm. all right to go crab mode Right, and what we do, we want to take the vehicle this way, so go hard left, right? And now the vehicle goes sideways across the terrain, right? <laughs> That's awesome. All right? Give it a little more gas. Yeah, go ahead, give, go ahead. A little more. That's it. That's unreal. Oop, we can All see right. it there, the side of your mirror here. I'm going sideways. Yeah, just nice and easy, just really easy all the way through here. And then we're going to tip back in just like that, right? Oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Driving a truck sideways. Wow. It's, what's what's the angle there? Is that about 45 degrees? I would say, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, roughly. Yeah, like, wow. Yeah, it's, yeah, it feels going, like you're going just, sideways. Just go back and forth. Yeah. 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 When you can see the rear tire and the side, yeah. they're kind of just turning all the way out like that. It's just wild. Okay. Just turn the wheels. Yeah, just turn the wheel, wheels that way. Easy on the guy. There we go. That's it. Nice little bump. Perfect. Jeez. Very nice. <laughs> no, we're going to go straight ahead. Okay. See that stick? There's yep. a big drop. We're going to oh. ride in there, okay? Okay. That's it. Perfect. You can see the way out, right? Oh, yeah. All right, but we'll be a bit muddy. So once we get in here, we're going to apply a little bit of gas, all right? Okay, when? All right. I don't know. When do you think? Probably now. Okay, go. There you go. That's it. That's it. You got it. It'll go hard right. It's a cake, right? Really interesting. Like, it's like a, you know, I love roller coasters. So this is kind of like you're in control of your own roller coaster. Just grab lots of brake to go down. That's it. Whoa. <laughs> My goodness, how are you gonna get out of this? <laughs> You're driving. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's a lot of luck. Stop try. Let's try. Let's put the lockers in the front and rear lockers. All right, and let's go into crab mode. All right, I'm going to turn a little bit this way. We're going to crab mode out this way. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. Try that. That's it. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Keep going in crab mode. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. Keep going. <laughs> That's crazy. Eh? <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> Okay, we can get out of crab mode. Yeah, it just feels like the truck is so much more confident than I am, you know, like... I cannot believe it's doing this. Okay, okay, it's okay. We're just off the air. We go. Wow. We got it. Sure yeah, it's like it fought yep. itself up there. Yep, absolutely. Like, how All does right. it do that? Like, it kind of just assisted, like... Okay, we'll bring right. it on home here. Yeah, we'll bring it on home. Yeah, just got that wooden stake there and go around that. Okay. That was amazing. 
I don't think I've ever had a driving experience like it. It felt fantastic. It, um, it was seamless. Really, really seamless. Man, that was something else. Like, anybody could get behind that and drive it. It, it was just, uh, it was so intuitive. It was like, so easy to drive. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. It, uh, it just felt like you could go anywhere you wanted to go. It felt like the truck was doing all the work. The truck was doing all the thinking. I just kind of had to look in the direction I wanted to get to and it didn't matter what was in front of me. It just went. I think what stands out right away is how intuitive the response is. It doesn't require any level of technical skill. Even though the terrain was incredibly extreme and sort of difficult, the truck instantly puts you at ease. You hit, hit those big, the mud hole, I hit the, the ditch, uh, no problem there. I just bit right through it and walked through it. We tried the crab walk, that was cool. Once you figure out the angle, it's great, and you take your time. I did get stuck on the one uh, elevation because I probably put a little bit too much gas in it and then I just didn't give it enough welly and to go up the hill. You just have to take your time and be methodical and plan where you're going and it works out fine. So there's the big pit we went through and then there's uh, other parts of the course there where you're thinking, that hole is much bigger than the tire. This isn't gonna work. Like right. the laws of physics don't apply here, right? But it was just amazing. You just felt like you were in any other kind of vehicle. You know, you weren't leaning one way, falling back. Like it was a big pit and um, he'd never gone through that one because it's brand new. And of course I got to do it, so it was great and I didn't get stuck. It made me feel more confident. I mean, I'm, I'm not a, a huge 4x4, I don't do a lot of it, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I wouldn't have any hesitation to get behind the wheel of that and go anywhere through any mud hole. If I had to drive this vehicle off-road again, I would be instantly comfortable. It is recognizable from the moment you get in, in terms of the mechanics, but also I think it's just so intuitive. And so the ability to just get in and drive uh, was very surprising and really, really approachable. As you've seen, our KXI WilderTech vehicle is not just designed for professionals and experienced off-road drivers, unlike our contemporaries. We've made great efforts to ensure that our intuitive center of gravity management technology supports and assists drivers of all expertise and confidence levels. I believe that this driver assistance automation signals a new era in vehicle center of gravity management that will democratize safe and responsible wilderness access for every worker who risks their life for emergency response, mission critical, or vocational support professions. Stay tuned for more incredible industry use cases as we explore the future of ODAS and wilderness ride control automation.